What in the world? Oh. Can we? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that cheese or what? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go raid Charlie again and make them pay, or hopefully, I don't know if makes the right word, but see if they can help us help pay for our double barrel shotgun because it is time for us to make a double barrel. Uh, so he's, as you can see, I've got um, the mass. In fact, my mass is completely maxed out. I've been feeding wood into it and also using the uh, fabricator a little bit, too. Um... And uh, we just need 2,000 power for that, and that'll, that'll of course, be uh, back up by the time we get back from the raid. It is morning, um, and yesterday, and then very early this morning, I, I was attacked. So um, all of the attacks are done, so we should have a couple of days of break uh, from the attacks. So there's a couple things we need to do before we get started. Um, let's see here. We're, we're going to want to take the Magnum with us. And let's make sure all of our weaponry is uh, repaired. So let's just repair everything. So that can be repaired, that can be repaired, that can be repaired, that can be repaired, and this too. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Um, so yeah, we'll take the Magnum with us to raid Charlie and we'll leave the, the rifle behind. So let's just switch those out right now. Um, and I also want to here let's leave let's take 20 shotgun rounds with us plus the fact that we need to uh, load this up a little bit too and uh, we're almost at that 200 copper thingies there which is really good all right what's going on in here we got a little bit of water in there and some fertilizer in here uh, we have a bird that we need to switch over um, and we, we're gonna need to make ourselves a breaching charge because you can't really effectively raid Charlie without one of these uh, so that means we need an ingot and to, uh, and a circuit board. So we should be able to do all of that. So what I'm hoping for is that Charlie's going to give us a bunch of ingots, you know, so that we can make the make the double barrel there. Uh, so ingot and a circuit board. Okay. Now that's going to use some mass up, so we can actually throw these back in here to get that part partly uh, back up. So let's put that away there. These can go back in here. Um, oh, we need uh, we need sustenance, big time. Okay, so let's eat like three tomatoes. I have some steak and eggs in here. Let's eat two of those, and that'll get us uh, back in the ballpark there. Looks like we need to eat even another tomato. The tomatoes up on the roof are about ready to harvest again. So we're you know we're we're really close on that. All right. So uh, are these done? Yes, they are. Okay. So now let's make. 
Whoops. Uh, let's make the breaching charge. So we need six gears and some gunpowder. Uh, those are going to be up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just grab some gunpowder. And that was not enough gunpowder. Uh, we might... Whoops. Uh, we're probably going to need to make a couple more grenades, too. Most likely we will get grenades when we go uh, raid Charlie, but there's no guarantee that we will. And we need at least one grenade per door. So, um, well... I already have two grenades, um, so let's just bring a total of four, and we'll also make some extra picks, and, and hopefully that will be enough to to get the job done. So we'll put that back in there. Gunpowder can go back in there. And, okay, so we got that going. Now, we need to make, uh, like I said, we want to make some picks, so look for the picks. We need boards, scrap, and cordage. And let's make four. Well, we have a one here, so let's make three more. And hopefully, like I said, that will be enough to to get the job done. Okay, before we take off, uh, let's swap out you because you are no longer producing eggs for us. And we're not going to worry about uh, replacing the chicken today, but uh, we will need to do that. Look, see, the eggs are coming in like crazy now. So, yeah, uh, that is definitely the way it works. Once your chickens hit level 10, they do not produce eggs any longer. So you might as well butcher them and replace them with a fresh chicken. Okay, let's put this in here so it can get going. We'll just stick the eggs in the fridge for now. Fat can go in here, and feathers can go in here, and whole chicken can go in here. Now, after we get the shotgun made, we're doing, we want the lever action, obviously, too, but um, let's grab all of this fertilizer. And I also made uh, a bunch more canteens just to make the watering a little bit quicker. But... Uh, you know we need to get the we need to get the cooking pot and the cooking pan ready next. Uh, okay, so these are tell you what I'm gonna do because we need this is raid day. We're not gonna harvest these right now. We're just gonna make sure they're topped off with fertilizer. Uh, let's turn the lights off though. I've been trying to turn those off during the day to save power, and we'll top you off with water too. And yeah, when we get back, we'll have a full crop of tomatoes, which will be really nice. Let's close that up and get these uh, waters back in the stove. The thing about raiding Charlie is you want to start the process fairly early in the day just because it takes so long. And uh, I, uh, I'm already, I would have already liked to have been on our way, but you know, we got to get our chores done too, don't we? Okay, so let's, uh, we'll just keep two of these with us so we have some water. Um, all right, we're good on, on nutrients there, so I think we're good to go there. Um, I want to grab, let's just grab three tomatoes here and top off our other birds. Because they are completely out of food. And that should be good. All right, let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. We are going to go thump Charlie again. So we have two grenades already in here that we got from, actually got from Charlie too the last time. And let's see, our armor's in good shape. Our weapons are in good shape. We got the ammo we need. Oh, you know what else though? Actually, hold on a sec. Let's grab some of this. I want I want a little bit more uh, medical stuff. So let's make two more of those. And let's make one, two, that'd be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we might as well. Let's just do it. Let's just do it so that way we have plenty of stuff to heal ourselves because we are definitely going to take damage. It's just a fact. Uh, all right, we'll put that there. All right, let's do this. Here we come, Charlie. We're coming for you, dude. I hope that they give us lots of juicy ingots. So, yeah, not expecting anybody else to attack us for... Uh, it's been fairly consistent, right? Uh, we get attacked by all three of them on about the same day, and then we have about two days of grace, and then it, the cycle repeats itself. Um, so what I've been trying to do is, um, you know, do all my looting onto those two days and then try and be home on the third day, you know, when, when the attacks come. But, the, you know, it doesn't it doesn't work. It's not like clockwork. Sometimes they don't attack till like, the night of the third day. Um, so, you know, it's not an exact science, but it seems to be reliable enough to where it's working out for me. So it looks like Alpha's fishing over there, but we're not going to bother with them. We're going for the big boys because we're going to get the most bang for our buck. 
And I mean that literally and figuratively, because there's going to be lots of banging going on. Get your minds out of the gutter. That's not what I meant. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we did not destroy Charlie's claymores last time. So there's, I, I know exactly where they are. So we don't have to worry about finding those. But, you know, we are, we are going to have to kill a lot of dudes. Hopefully we can get into the, to the base and, okay, we got one guy that's outside. Get into their base and, you know, get behind cover before we get rushed by all of them. And this is actually their back door too, which is actually not a bad thing because there's a little bit more cover here than there is um, on the other side. We gotta stay close here because of that claymore. Let's grab that real quick. Yeah, there's the claymore right there. I'm kind of glitching out on the side of their base here, so. Hey, there's a ammo chest over there. Yeah, come outside. Okay, that takes two of them out. Let's just sit here for a minute, reload, regroup. Um, we're gonna take one of these because our health's pretty low. Okay, somebody just opened a door, but it was probably inside the base. Okay, let's go back here. Watch out for that claymore. in okay I think I saw him right on the stairs there okay he's down okay I hear lots of footsteps going on they're probably all coming from up there Let's take a peek around this way. See, last time we raided them, they all just kind of came down the stairs to us, which worked out pretty nicely. Are they inside the rooms? Here we go. He hit us right when we hit him. Okay, I still hear footsteps. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Whew, okay. Wow, look at all that stuff. Um, just because we're going to need room, um, I'm just going to eat all of it. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm not just going to eat all of it. All right. We'll, we'll eat that stuff later. And we'll take that for the moment. I don't, yeah, I don't think anybody else is moving around. Oh, wow. Look at all those iron fragments. Very nice. All right. What do you got in here? What we'll do like we did last time is we'll store stuff in the first crate until we're completely done with the raid and then we'll figure out what to take back if we don't have enough room for everything. Okay, that's our first chest there. Let's grab all of that and all of that. And some ammo casings, always welcome. And I think that's it. Okay, so let's get hit the first crate. Wow, look at the nails. I'll take them. I will take them. All right, let's put the nails down here, and we got a grenade, good. 
and we were actually able to get all of that very cool okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to put the less important stuff in here uh, for now that's not super important that's not super important and that isn't that isn't I kind of definitely want to keep the rest of this stuff but I mean uh, yeah I mean we got room okay and we got the whole rest of the day to do this so we're good man we are good okay so let's do the first uh, place since I only have five grenades I think at least for the first um, you know for the first door here we're gonna just do one grenade and then pick it whoa was like got a little confused about if I was ducked down or not my goodness um so yeah we'll just pick this one down and then hopefully we'll get enough grenades you know from this chest to continue you know using them but here the thing is is here again we've got the whole day right I mean I don't it's not even noon yet so we might just use one grenade per door and pick the rest of them so that way we can save the grenades for next time you know since we have the time so yeah I will see you guys when this door is down Okay, here we go. Wasn't expecting anybody in here, but we wanted to be safe anyways. Ah, oh, rats. Okay, so no ingots, but lots of nails in a padded cloth. Can't complain about that. We're already up to 69 nails, so okay. Um, let's go hit the next room, which is over here. And again, um, where is the sun? Yeah, see, it's, it's only... It's about noon-ish right now, so we're, we're doing good on time. So again, we'll just use one nade here. That, oh, man, come on, really? Okay, well, I guess we were just a little bit close. Okay, I'll see you when this door is busted down. All right, here we go. All good, okay. Wow, still no ingots. My goodness, okay. I mean, we're getting good stuff, no doubt about it, but I was kind of hoping for ingots here. I was hearing something like somebody moving around outside. Hmm, I don't know. I have to remember to get the ash from that. Okay, last room. And, um, yeah, I mean, we might as well keep using the picks we still have time so let's drop this and run all the way out here so we don't get damaged and take her down okay here we go oh <laughs> I switched too quickly there we go nobody in here okay there's our ingots okay well that's three out of five that we needed so yeah, nice. Okay, so we got three ingots out of the deal. Uh, I don't remember how many shotgun shells I came with, but we have 33 now. And that's really close to what we started with. I think I had like 29 magnum shells. So yeah, not not bad at all. Plus we got the pad of cloth. Um, we got one of those. Well, let's actually go back downstairs. Uh, we got to get out of here because it's starting to get dark. Uh, we'll take the rest of that stuff. And uh, come down here. Grab that too. Okay, let's get the rest of this. Oh, we want to. Uh, that's already on overdrive. We want to run their power and all that stuff out. I don't know if that actually matters. Uh, okay, and then we should be able to just take all of this too. Okay. So that's the loot that we came away with, and not bad, not bad. Uh, I would have preferred a few more ingots than we got, but this will work. This will work. Okay, let's, uh, do we get that? No, we didn't. Here, let's get rid of that. I'd rather have the scrap than a one piece of rotten meat. Yeah, let's skedaddle. They're going to be spawning in here any moment. And um, they might come after us tonight. We'll just have to see. I don't have room for that thing. Uh, look what we got on our, our shotgun, too, by the way. A light, and it's got super good range, too. So 
Uh, I, I'm, I'm only going to use it during combat at night because, you know, it does run the battery down. I don't know how long the battery lasts on it, though. Um, later on, when we, we have more resources to spare, we might run it more frequently. But right now, we're still trying to be as frugal as we can. Uh, so we came away with that. Uh, with two grenades, so that's cool. What we could maybe do tomorrow is raid Alpha and Bravo too with those two grenades, uh, just to see if they have any more ingots for us too. We might actually do that. It's the only kind of iffy part about that is Charlie might come after us tomorrow, but if it's just Charlie that comes after us tomorrow, that's not going to be that big of a deal. The base can hold up to one group of hunters attacking pretty well. It's just the when they all three of them attack and I'm not here to repair anything, that's when things really get banged up. Okay, so I think what we'll do is... I think I'm going to cut the camera here. And then in the morning, let's go ahead and hit Bravo and Alpha. Because why the heck not, right? And if we get attacked overnight, of course, I'll, I'll show you that on camera, too. All right? Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. It is the next day. We did not get attacked overnight uh, or this morning. Uh, I did flip the crops around. And uh, actually, it looks like we have some more potatoes. I was getting really low on potatoes, so I started fast-tracking uh, potatoes here. Um, let's actually go look real quick before we take off. Uh, what our ratios are now of veggies. Okay, so we have 16, I'm not counting those, uh, 16 potatoes, 12 carrots, and 14 onions. So we have carrots and onion seeds here. Uh, so I think we're going to send it. Oh, and actually we have some cotton seeds too. Uh, we have like 47 cotton, and we, we got some padded cloths too that we've, we've gotten off our enemies. Uh, so we're in pretty good shape on cotton. Um, so, oh, okay, yeah, we still have potatoes in here, so let's plant those and the two cotton seeds. And we'll worry about the carrots, uh, later. And that should get us fairly even because, you know, I'm really gonna work hard to try and get the cooking pot and the cooking pan going as soon as possible so we can, you know, start taking advantage of that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's take off. Uh, let's see, you, yeah, you're in good shape. You're in good shape. Oh, let's turn uh, the crop lights off. Uh, because we have a nice sunny day and we don't need to be sucking the power down at the moment. Now, we might get attacked while, you know, we're out and about. But if we do, we do. It's, not, it's just kind of the way it goes. Unfortunately, I can't be in two places at the same time. So we're going to hit Bravo first. And then the plan will be to hop on over to Alpha and nail them too. Uh, we might, we'll probably come back to the base after Bravo just to drop off, though. Uh, is it still rutting season? Yes, it is. Is that a... No, that's a bear. Okay. We have to be careful of the moose. The mooses. Uh, one of the reasons why I want to get the double shotgun, double barrel shotgun, rather, going is because it can pretty much take out, especially if we upgrade it once or twice, uh, a moose just flat out take it out. That gun is a beast. So, uh, yeah, we'll be, we're definitely going to be working towards that. And we got th three of the five ingots from Charlie. So hopefully Bravo and or Alpha will supply the other two ingots that we need for uh, getting the job done. Oh, you know what? I should have made a couple more bandages. Well, that's all right. Let's just do the best we can here. Okay. One nice thing about Bravo is they always got that one guy stuck behind a fence, so we never have to deal with him so much. Okay. Oh, let's grab his bag so I don't forget. Okay, yeah, so he's just perpetually stuck behind a fence. Uh, there's their claymore. I think he's sh shooting it up. Uh, what in the world? Oh. Can we? Ooh, 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 ooh. It 
is that cheese or what? <laughs> That's the best kind of cheese ever. Oh, man, I love it. Okay. I love it. All right, let's soften up the door here. There's still probably... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that dude that's shooting at us. There's still probably another guy in there, but we'll take him out with our shoddy or our magnum when we break in. Okay, let's break down the door. That was funny, man. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we go. Nobody in here. Nobody up here. Okay. Uh, oh, look! There's an ingot right there. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Let's look at the fat loots. No ingots but two padded cloth. That's pretty good. I can't complain. That's pretty doggone good. Um, Let's get this out of here and this out of here. Check this. Um, and now let's use their fuel to build their power up, just in case we might want to come back if we have time later and potentially make a grenade or two, or, uh, we don't really need any, any scuba gear. We're in pretty good shape on that. Um, okay, so let's go run back to our base really quick. Drop off this stuff, and then we're going to hit Alpha next. This bear wants a piece of me. All right. In case you guys didn't see that other episode, I don't know, three or four episodes back where I demonstrated that you can kill animals in the water. Well, I just demonstrated that you can kill animals in the water. Um, what time is it? Nah, I was going to dive for that pearl, but let's just get going. All right, guys, we are ready to go hit alpha. So, yeah, this is uh, maybe the first time. I've raided all three hunters in the same... No, actually, I take the back. It's not the same day because we raided Charlie and then we waited until the next morning. So, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, yeah, so we'll go ahead, Alpha, <coughs> excuse me, and hopefully we'll get the remaining ingots that we need from them to make our double barrel. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. We, have every, uh, we should have everything else we need. It's mostly just the ingots that were the expensive part about getting that done. Um, this will actually be only the second time too, in Season 2 here that we've actually raided Alpha. Um, I don't usually raid them just because they're the... They only have the chest of goods. They don't have a workbench so that you can't use their power and mass. And I don't know, do they even have... Yeah, they probably have at least a, a refiner so you can loot that, I suppose. It's deep. Oh crap, we got a bear up on that side. Okay. Um let's see if we can sneak past him. We might have to swim over to that side. I don't want to mess with the bear. It's early afternoon, so we're okay on time as long as we don't take too much time. And yeah, he's kind of in a bad spot, isn't he? Can we get this? building crate. I guess we could just kill him. It's only a level one. Yeah, you know what? We are, we're just going to kill him. I ain't got time for this, man. Ain't got time for this. Yeah, at least he dropped some decent stuff. Okay. Let's grab this building crate. Now, I don't... I think 
think I remember where their claymore is. I'm not 100% sure, so we need to be careful. Okay, there's the dude right there. Okay, so we took two of them out. And there's probably one guy up in the base, too, that we'll have to get. Okay, I want to say the claymore is somewhere over there, but let's just be really careful. There's a bear over there, but he's not too far away. Or too close, rather. Okay, yeah, there's the claymore, claymore right there. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's drop this down. Very good. And then uh, we'll bring you guys back when we got the door busted down. Let's get, uh, we'll start with this pick here because it's already partially damaged. All right, here we go. Okay, nobody down here. Looks like that's it. Okay. Take all of this stuff here. Grab that and that. And oh, look at that, you guys. Wow. Three ingots and a padded cloth, amongst other things. Nice. This is actually probably the best one we've we've had. Uh, that's very nice. Okay, cool. Thank you, Alpha. Appreciate that. Uh, let's turn this on and Run your fuel all the way down. You don't have, uh, yeah, they don't have a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, fabricator thing, so. Okay, cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lockpick on me, so we could look around for a locked crate here in the birchwood while it's clear, but it's not going to really do us any good. <laughs> um, maybe let's just kind of. Look around at least for some some loot since we don't usually have, you know, the run of the place with Alpha here, being here all the time. But, uh, yeah, we'll we'll just kind of look around and see if there, there are any crates to loot before we head back to the base because we have a little bit of daylight left. Um, at midnight, uh, then we are going to be on our guard because all three of these guys are going to come after us with a vengeance. But here's the thing. They always come after us with a vengeance anyways. At the same... Oh, my goodness. How much time do we have? We might be able to get back to this locked crate if it stays there. Hmm. All right. Let's... Let's... Let's try. So it's... um, Yeah, it's just kind of right by that rock there. Okay. Let's see if we can do, do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. Oh, we're getting attacked. Crap. Okay, there's another one that was shooting at us. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hold still. Got him. Okay. <clears throat> We're bleeding. I have no bandages, but our health is really high, so um, let's get back real quick and um, make a bandage. Well, by the time we get back, the bleeding will probably be done, but we might have to pop a health pack just to be on the safe side. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie came after us already. That's fine. It was to be expected. I'd like to try and get back over there though and get that come on grab it grab it I get that um locked crate before dark if we can pull it off they didn't really do any 
damage to the base. They mostly did damage to me. Okay, let's just do one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, ten? No. I want... Yeah, that's good enough. Let's make some of these. Our health is... You know, our health is fine. Let's go. We're really running out of time here. Okay, let's just use the light on our shotgun for the moment. And hopefully that crate's still there. I think it was like right up here by this rock. Uh, is it gone? Oh, wow, when you zoom, you really see the light. Thought it was like right by this rock. Didn't we kind of look back and say it's going to be right by the rock? Let's get up a little higher. Maybe it was back over this way a little more. Or it's just despawned, which is definitely entirely possible. Yeah, I, I think it's pro it probably despawned. So I think it was like right here. Okay, well, no big deal. I mean, we got. We'll use the lockpick for the next one that we find. Then, all right, let's get back out of here because we could definitely be getting an attack tonight. Here, we'll get the ammo crate. This flashlight is really nice. I wish we could uh, make like a helmet light or something in the game. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, uh, that is it for this episode. Uh, so we're going to go back to the base and just kind of stand guard. If we don't get attacked tonight, then we will probably almost sure, certainly get attacked tomorrow. And that was obviously Charlie that came after us because Bravo and Alpha are dead or they're probably just now spawning back in. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. Man, this light is awesome. Look how far it shines. That's just awesome. This is going to help so much on rainy nights. Uh, anyway, goodbye.